Okay, what's up guys? Today we're taking a look at War for Cybertron Siege Brunt. He is a weaponizer. He is the addition to Trypticon. So, very fitting that he's in front of this box right here. I like that. Uh, there is a way that you can get him to sort of stay in Trypticon's... Uh, let me get the camera up there. The neck cavity... Like right up there, you put him in the tank mode and he kind of sits right in there. So that was a nice little added bonus that they put in there. But Brunt here is a Decepticon weaponizer. So let's take a look at him at first. And as you can see, you can see most of the articulation here. He's got shoulder swivel, we got a bicep swivel, we got 90 the bicep he's got the little claw thing right there the head can look back and forth uh, nothing side to side though this little gun pops off you can put it you know on various other places if you wanted to have him with like laser cannon mode or whatever but we'll get more into that later all right he does have a hip swivel we got thighs that come out to there up to here a uh, little inhibited by the backpack there but I mean you can take that off and get away with it so that's fine all right we got the knee there got an upper bicep swivel you've also got a knee swivel because of how that works and you've got the ankle rocker so that's pretty cool again pretty well articulated for the weaponizers for you know having them as the parts formers like they are and pretty cool color scheme, man. I'm digging it. The purple does match full tilt, in case you were wondering. I don't have him downstairs, but it does match him. So he does match Trypticon very well. Uh, and it can be... I don't, I don't have the Takara version. I have the Hasbro version. So as far as I know, he matches the Hasbro version. I don't know if he matches the Takara. Gonna have to figure that one out on your own. Sorry. But all right. Let's get this guy transformed up into tank mode. So the first thing we're going to do is cut him in half. Then we're going to take his arms off. Then we're going to take this backpack, this backpack piece off. Put that off to the side for now. Alright, so we got this. The head will fold all the way down like so. And of course, this is all stuff that you can just put on your characters in various forms. So, once the head is tilted all the way back, this tilts all the way forward. There's also this little peg here. That can be, you know, now he's a gun. Or whatever you want to do with it. Or a backpack. You know, however you want to plug this into your characters. It's a weaponizer. The possibilities are endless. Use your imagination and have fun with it. But for vehicle mode, just go ahead and fold that out of the way. Alright. So there's that one. Let's split these you're going to want to take this part and get this folded up like so put that in right there all right then you can go ahead and put him back together like that all right the arms here I'm going to come down, you're going to do that all the way out, and then this peg will plug into right there. I think I'm doing that right. Weaponizers. They're parts formers, so I mean, whatever. Alright, let's get that on the other side now. Oh, and it does kind of collapse a little bit. That is actually my first time noticing that, so, my bad. And here, let's get that all squared away in there. I don't think I have his legs properly aligned. That's just me. 
Alright. Get that in there. And you'll know you're doing it right because he does roll. Not well, but he does roll. Okay. See? Decently enough. Alright, so to form the cannon, you take the legs here, and there is that peg on one of them that will flip out. And it corresponds, they like, I think you can only do that. Yeah, you can only do it one way. It corresponds to that foot. And you just put it together there. And these little pegs, you can go either way. You can have it this way, or you can have it that way. This, this is entirely up to you, this part here. But what you do is you take this, plug it into there. And then this is just kind of friction held on that you pop it into there. And he's got the little uh, turret. I don't have that in right, I don't think. There we go. Alright, he's got the little turret. Ah, I have it backwards is the problem. Okay. I'm going to try that again, and there we go. Okay, that's better. There we go. And then this little thing, you're supposed to put on there. But again, this is all, you know, official stuff. It's a weaponizer. Do what you want with it. So there you go. And we got a rotating cannon. That's pretty cool. I like that. Then you got a cannon that goes up and down. And you can spin this if you want to. I mean, that's, again, that's purely up to you. But there you go, there's Brunt, rolls pretty well, pretty cool. And this is the tank mode, you stick it in uh, behind Trypticon like this, and he should be able to just kind of hold in there through friction, so. But, a pretty cool little figure. Very nice. So that is a look at War for Cybertron Siege Brunt, weaponizer. Go out and go get you one, because he's pretty cool. I will see you next time.